Hello everyone. Today we'll be learning how to conduct another test regarding transportation engineering and that is the penetration of bituminous material. In the last class we have started the bituminous material. Today we'll be learning how to conduct the penetration test. Penetration of bituminous material. And this test is actually is it will be our experiment non nine sorry eight as we have completed seven experiments before this so this is the penetration of bituminous material and this test is actually the second test of bituminous materials in the last course we have discussed about the specific gravity of bituminous materials but today in this class we will be learning the penetration so what is penetration and before going to that we I must I must include the designation of this test we are um, we are referring to ASTO designation as T 49 to 93 and it will be similar as the ASTM designation which is D5 to 86 okay so these two designations are there for this particular test which we will be following so can you tell me what is the penetration what do you understand by penetration if I ask you what is penetration First of all, penetration, we, need, we know that to penetrate something, uh, the bituminous material, that's why we are discussing about the bituminous material, penetration of bituminous material, that means actually penetration within the bituminous material for anything, any substance for this particular test, we will be using needle as you know that uh, generally we use the penetration term for the needle like substances and that's why we will be using needle for this particular test and which will be according to the obviously according to the specification which we will be learning here also so this particular test will be covering the determination of penetration of semi-solid both semi-solid I think I have discussed about semi-solid what what is semi-solid and also the solid bituminous materials as well these two types of bituminous material we will be conducting tests according to the designation as you have mentioned for this particular test so what is penetration so as far we have we are concerned that penetration is to penetrate of a needle within the bituminous material and this have a particular value this this uh, this penetration will have particular value like um, one two three ten hundred like this so according to the penetration um, value unit we are using if the penetration value is less than 350 less than 350 will be using standard penetration apparatus standard penetration apparatus okay standard penetration apparatus if the penetration unit we is less than 350 and if the penetration is above 350 we can say if it is 350 to 500 for this penetration value we will be needing a spatial apparatus this is called the spatial penetration apparatus actually spatial penetration apparatus we will be needing for the penetration value as of 350 up to 500 and some modifications might be there 
hopefully we'll be discussing about this in the later portion of our lecture however so if this is less than 350 standard apparatus and if it is uh, greater than 350 up to 500 we'll be using special penetration apparatus but how do you know that this penetration will be less than 350 and greater than 350 as we are just conducting the test now we, we don't know the penetration what will be the penetration actually the test will be determining the penetration value so how we can say that if it is less than 350 we will be using this or other than we will be using that one how we can say you need to know about this that the bitumen actually bitumen bitumen actually we designate bitumen according to the penetration value this penetration unit we actually designate bitumen as just like you say uh, how do you designate uh, you say mild steel steel reinforcement how do you de designate these things if you have conducted the SM lab the mild steel tensile strength then obviously you will be you have you had used there say for example 60 grade uh, mild steel in that case you have predicted that the yield strength will be 60 ksa although not fixed we have determined the yield strength whether it is 60 or not and how much the variation was there we have determined this thing in the same same manner you, you will be learning that the penetration grade is the determiner of bitumen bitumen uh, might be designated as different units different grades but this penetration we generally use for designating bitumen we say this penetration grade bitumen say for example 80 bituminous 80 grade penetra 80 grade you need penetration of bitumen we are using for particular this this is a determiner of bitumen how to um, determine or distinguish so whenever you are using 80 you can predict that you will be obtaining uh, the value of penetration which will be around 80 you need as you know so that's why whenever we will be using less than 350 grade penetration of bitumen then you will be using the standard penetration apparatus whether uh, if it is uh, greater than 350 up to 500 then use spatial apparatus however so what will be the um, definition formal definition of uh, this penetration you know the penetration is actually this penetration is actually uh, nothing but the um, measurement gives the measurement of consistency consistency of the bitumen this will indicate the consistency and what is consistency um, and this consistency must be as you know that bitumens cost consistency is the resistance of the particular material the bituminous material and as you know that bitumen is very sensitive to the temperature so obviously and the first class I have also said in the last class if you can remember the bituminous materials always uh, caters for the temperature temperature is a very vi plays a vital role in the experiments regarding these uh, bituminous materials uh, uh, test wh whichever we will be using applying uh, now and afterwards so for a, at a given temperature that's why we should be including at a given temperature here we should be including so penetration is a consistency indicator at a given temperature that might be the uh, definition so if we if we and according to this consistency this penetration the quality of the bitumen is measured as well so if i define it that if if i define the consistency the consistency what is consistency consistency this consistency can be defined as the an empirical measure empirical empirical measure of the resistance 
of the resistance resistance offered by a fluid to continuous deformation continuous deformation when it is subjected to when we say when it is subjected to when it is subjected to shearing stress shearing stress so why this is the definition of consistency this is an first of all this is an empirical measure what is empirical measure that is not you cannot formulate it according to basic science and technology this is an empirical method which will be indirectly giving you a value which doesn't have any scientific basis particularly so that you cannot derive it from the basic scientific equation that's uh, that's how so the, that that will be the empirical measure empirical equations or empirical formula whatever we say of the resistance offered by a fluid so whenever it will be subjected to shearing stress so for example if i say this is a particular fluid so whenever we will be trying to give it uh, give a penetration over there what will happen there will be shearing stress there you know shearing stress by the fluid on the surface of the needle say for example if it is a needle in the surface uh, in the surface of needle the skin of the needle it will feel a resistance by this particular fluid around this and this particular stress which is actually in the skin it is actu actually acting like this throughout the skin so this is nothing but the shearing stress as we know so shearing stress is parallel to the um, body acting the area surface acting that is called the shearing stress as you know so this shearing stress whenever this uh, fluid will be resisting the resistance uh, in uh, that this resistance indicating um, measure is called a consistency as we know and this consistency is obtained by the nothing but the penetration whenever you will be trying to penetration this penetration test how much depth it will be penetrating this will be indicating the consistency of the bitumen so if i ask you if you get higher value of the penetration whether the consistency will be greater or lower lesser what do you think obviously if you can penetrate it to greater depth you will be thinking that this consistency will have low value as just because as it cannot uh, keep its original position it has it it, it will have lower value lower ability to keep maintain its shape properly uh, when it is subjected to shearing stress that's why it is penetrating more whereas if it will it is it 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 has lower penetration value it, it will penetrate up to a very low depth then you can say that okay the consistency is very high for this particular bitumen so that's why higher values of penetration mean softer consistency and vice versa okay so now we'll be going for the test before that i need to i must mention that the penetration unit we are talking about this penetration unit which we'll be learning here that is nothing but the value of penetration depth which will be converted to one tenth of millimeter that is called a penetration unit so if the penetration depth is three uh, 30 uh, 300 say for example 300 millimeter obtained the penetration depth then you will be obtaining the penetration unit as if you divide it by one uh, divided by 10 or multiply by 1 by 10 you will be obtaining 330 
penetration unit so the unit of penetration here will be 30 you will be obtaining for this particular bitumen if we get this 300 millimeter of uh, depth okay so 110 millimeter of sorry i have i have forgot to say this is uh, i have made uh, made a mistake not like that actually if you get sorry 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 please uh, correctify this thing if you get so this is one penetration unit is equals to one tenth of the um, millimeter as we know so uh, if you get three 30 millimeter of penetration depth for a particular sample then we will be getting 30 divided by 1 by 10 and that will be equals to 300 penetration unit okay so this will be actually the penetration unit we are talking about so whatever the millimeter value is that will be multiplied by 10 it will be giving you the penetration unit so that penetration unit we have given the condition for this less than 350 is actually indicating if it the penetration depth is less than 35 millimeter and for this 50 millimeter and, and uh, everything accordingly however now we'll be going for the apparatus we'll be introducing ourselves with the apparatus which we'll be using for this particular conducting this particular test first of all the main apparatus if I say for this particular test we are using that is the penetration apparatus we say this a uh, penetration apparatus okay so this test we, we said this is the special apparatus for this particular test we are using in the first class I have said that you should be identifying all uh, special apparatus or unique apparatus for all the tests so if I ask you what is the special apparatus for the test of penetration of bituminous materials you will be saying that okay this is the penetration apparatus we use uh, for, uh, particularly for this particular ex experiment okay so the penetration apparatus first of all we'll be using here so what is penetration apparatus any apparatus permitting the movement of the spindle without appreciable friction which is accurately calibrated actually which will be yielding the result in accordance with the description of the term penetration will be acceptable so which will be uh, which will be in accordance with the term definition of penetration any apparatus the uh, as you know that we will be using a needle using a needle uh, attached to a spindle and that will be used here to penetrate through so the apparatus which will be giving a flat ground and which will be also holding this uh, this particular uh, needle whenever we'll be releasing this it will be going penetrating uh, into the uh, bituminous material so this particular apparatus that the apparatus which will be giving the penetration value accordingly you will be needing also a, a, an additional load of 50 gram over there uh, additionally with this needle we'll be discussing it just after this so all this arrangement which will be obtained here so not only the needle will be given there but also another additional load weight will be given so that we obtain the 50 plus uh, this needle will be penetrated through the bituminous metal and remember that this weight is very much sensitive and you must maintain this thing so any apparatus you can use the you will, which will be giving the particular arrangement which will be also calibrated so that it is giving the actual value of penetration so you can use those apparatus as well so however this will be uh, giving a flat surface obviously so that this surface will be flat and obviously it will be the needle the the stand will be in such a manner that if you hold the needle within this this will be actually whenever we'll be placing so for example whenever we'll be placing the container of bitumen here so it will be give a 90 degree it will be giving 
it will be giving a 90 degree axis angle degree to the surface the surface should be in such a man uh, such direction or also the holder as it is so this will be our penetration apparatus and also you should be and um, should be aware of the spindle also a spindle will be there which will be giving you a mass the spinning which will be movable obviously this spindle will have a mass if i write it down like this spindle will be 47.5 plus minus 0 0.05 gram of mass and the needle plus spindle therefore the needle plus the spindle will be giving you 50 plus minus 0 0.05 gram of mass so this will be the mass of spindle plus needle and an additional weight we which will have to use will be 50 plus minus 0 0.05 grams so these two will be penetrating through the bituminous material and that's why we'll be actually giving the total load of 100 in such a manner the total load will be within this range that is 100 plus minus 0 0.05 gram so the, our arrangement should be like this so that will be our penetration apparatus so 100 gram approximately we will be applying the load into the bituminous material and then what we know we, we we need you will be needing a needle as we have said earlier so needle will be needing here this will be made of fully hardened it will be fully hardened and tempered stainless steel made of this thing and the grade is also given I don't think I need to describe it uh, like that there is a needle which will have a particular grade and also some other uh, measurements for this particular needle and this needle will have approximately 50 it will have approximately 50 millimeter of length and if we say it will be like 2 inch approximately so 50 millimeter in length and 1 to say 1 to 1.02 millimeter uh, in diameter if I say okay so as you can always remember here as we are using american standard so si units will be used here not in so millimeter is always used in this case so the diameter is nothing but the 1.02 to 1. Uh, 1.00 to 1.02 so if i say about this if this is the needle the total needle if i say like this the total needle length will be nothing but 50 millimeter and the diameter here will be um you say uh, we say 1.00 millimeter millimeter to 1.02 millimeter and also if i say about this needle in particular the diameter will be finally changed and final diameter of this needle will be in this particular portion this will be say 0 0.14 to 0 0.16 millimeter as a spike okay so this will be the needle which we'll be using next apparatus we'll be using here that will be a container actually the container of bitumen container if i say a container will be used where the bitumen will be kept and the penetration of needle will be done the container 
in which the sample we say the sample of bitumen will be tested so this container will be made of made of metal or it, it can be made of glass cylinder glass also but it will be cylindrical in shape it's cylindrical in shape and it will obviously providing a flat bottom so it's a cylindrical shape either made of metal of glass or glass whatever but it will be providing a flat flat bottom the container to be used for materials having a penetration of 200 or less will have a nominal capacity of 3 ounce or I can say 90 milliliter if, if we are using uh, to conduct the test uh, using the standard apparatus which will be giving you less than 350 penetration unit that for that particular we will be have to will be ha using a the container which will have a nominal capacity of 3 ounce or 90 millimeter and its inside dimensions shall be uh, like uh, as we are mentioning the diameter will be 55 millimeter the inside diameter obviously the depth inside available will be 35 millimeter for this particular 3 ounce container and the volume obviously as we have said will be 90 millimeter approximately and or 3 ounce if we say but if we are using say if you are using uh, um, so, so it will be sorry not 350 uh, for particularly if we use say for if we know the penetration grade is less than 200 millimeter remember I will be discussing why we are using this if it is less than 200 millimeter or we can say up to 200 millimeter less than or equals to then you will be using this particular container and if the value is above 200 millimeter up to if I say uh, if it is greater than 200 millimeter of penetration then uh, from 200 millimeter up to say 350 millimeter penetration sorry this is not many millimeter as you know the penetration unit if if it is 200 to 350 penetration unit then we'll have to use a container which will have the similar flat bottom but the volume will be 6 ounce or 175 milliliter capacity so the diameter will be then for that particular uh, will have the diameter inside diameter of 70 millimeter age inside height will be 45 millimeter and volume as you know will be 175 milliliter or 6 ounce as you have said so why why we are using these two types of uh, container say for example if you can understand that if it is less than or equals to 200 that means the penetration will be up to 20 millimeter so that's why we are giving a depth of inside depth of 35 millimeter so that the penetration will be allowed up to if if you are say if not filled but just almost filled you will it will be exerting almost 350 sorry 35 millimeter of uh, height as you can see here 35 millimeter will be there and the penetration will be will be allowing up to 20 millimeter that is 200 penetration and if it is greater than 200 what will happen we need uh, we, we cannot give up to 350 to 35 millimeter just touching the bottom so we need some spaces there also some spaces kept uh, left over there above 
so that's why for greater than 200 up to 350 we'll be using a depth of 45 millimeters so that if the total depth here is uh, 45 millimeter even you can allow it you can easily allow it up to 335 millimeter depth which is nothing but this 350 penetration unit so that's why two types of um, container should be used in case of this so yes by this time you might have learned that we are especially focusing on the penetration grade less than 350 as we have discussed so as we have discussed I cannot I cannot remember what we have said in the beginning but it should be less than 350 which we are using penetration unit as the standard uh, apparatus is uh, is being used if it is greater than or equals to 350 up to 500 then special apparatus will be used so two things are different the test whether special apparatus or standard apparatus will be used that is indication of the penetration you need this one and the penetration we are we are considering we are admitting that we will be using 350 less than 350 penetration grade that's why that will be uh, we are using uh, 200 millimeter or 200 uh, penetration unit less than uh, if we are using then use this container and if it is greater than 200 use this container up to or less than 350 as you have seen so however now uh, we are focusing you by this time known you have known that we are using less than 350 penetration we are expecting as well and we'll be discussing about greater than 350 later on, hopefully. So, um, another thing, another another apparatus we need to use that is called the water bath. The water bath we need to use for this particular test. And as you know why, just because you will have to maintain this temperature. So, if nothing is mentioned that always remember this test will be conducted for 25 degrees centigrade and to keep maintain this temperature if we say to maintain this temperature we need this water bath so water bath where always the temperature will be maintained and not varying 0.1 degree centigrade there that will be maintained uh, in the water bath that's why water bath will be used and the volume of water will not be less than 10 liter not less than 10 liters will be used in in this water bath we we'll, we now have to uh, give the water bath dimensions as well uh, so arrangement as well how to orient this water bath i will be discussing it here now So the water bath will be placed in such a manner that within the water bath, the water bath, say for example this is the water bath, so if it is the water bath, then the water within the water bath will be filled up in up to such a level that there will be a perforated, if I say there will be a perforated shelf here perforated shelf so this will be a perforated shelf perforated shelf shelf where there will be provision to enter water within that so perforated in different places there however so in this shelf we will be keeping the container of the bitumen uh, so that the bitumen will be maintaining the proper temperature afterwards so the this water bath the height of the perforated shell from the top surface of the water will be um, not less than we say not less than 100 millimeter above and if we say from below this will be not less than 50 millimeter actually it will be like this the bottom will be the reference actually so 100 millimeter will be actually from the top of the water level up to this one will be not less than 100 millimeter the bottom this shelf supporting shelf 
so this shelf we can say we can use the reference as the uh, uh, the middle position so it will be not less than 100 millimeter and it will be not less than 50 millimeter we, we should keep it like this and um, this will be uh, obviously not less than 10 liters of, as we have said so the water should be filled in such a way so we can also use we can um, it should be it should be substantially obviously f uh, free from oil and other substances lime or organic growth all other things they should be um, substantially free from those things but in in case we can use brine here also you know the surface as uh, aqueous solution of sodium we say uh, sodium hydroxide uh, as brine so brine might be used here as well for determination at low temperatures say if we use for no, not 25 degree centigrade or we are determining this for less than 25 and it is almost close to the freezing point if if in, in case we use these things so in that case we might be using brine just because brine will provide you and the fluid nature of this particular brine uh, is fluid um, aqueous um, uh, property still if the temperature is below 25 degrees centigrade or, or even the temperature where water will not perform well so that's why brine might have been used if we use uh, it for low temperatures but in general we will be using water okay so this uh, this this is the water bath as we have discussed So the purpose of using brine that is the solution actually of sodium chloride plus H2O as you know this is the brine so th for using this when we'll have to measure the temperature below 10 and 0 or equal to 0 degrees centigrade we might be although you use generally 25 degrees centigrade there might be some cases where we might be using this uh, at zero degree centigrade so in that case water will not be viable for that particular test that's why we will be using then the brine adding sodium chloride salt in this particular fluid water will be um, giving it still giving its fluid property to conduct the test properly that's why and to use the water if i say we always prefer to use distilled water distilled water just because uh, to ensure that no chemical reactions will be there whenever the bitumens will be placed in there if the water is um, water is uh, co containing the impurities different types of impurities might be there so if the water is containing the impurities then th in that case the bitumen might be reacting with that and the total test purpose might have been collapsed that's why you better use distilled water in this water bath better so again we we have to use the transfer disk or container using which the bitumen the bituminous container might be placed from one place to another that might be used also you will be using thermometer here as we've said the thermometer thermometers will be used so that we are maintaining we, we might be ensuring that the temperature is maintained properly in these cases that's why use thermometer which will be also giving 0.1 degree centigrade plus minus uh, value of the true temperature value also you need a timer device timer device I forgot to say in the first case the penetration how much how long you will be measuring the penetration there may be some cases you will be so watching that the needle is penetrating and after if you leave it to penetrate after hours after hour it will be penetrate penetrating penetrating and penetrating so uh, why uh, we need a stopwatch for this particular test just because there is a given time a particular time span within which you will have to measure the penetration and that will be the penetration value according to this standard so the value the time will be the count 
a one penetration count will be five plus minus 0.1 second so this will be our reference time span within which after the penetration is uh, being started and after five seconds will be in immediately taking the penetration value how to take the penetration value if i say now if uh, i should i uh, i okay i'm discussing this now say for example if i draw a figure tentative figure so for example this is the container this is uh, the needle so needle will be placed in such a manner that if the needle is just touching this you will be taking a dial gas reading over there you will be obtaining a dial gas reading or must be getting a dial gas reading okay so dial gauge reading will be there so after penetration after penetration whenever it will be penetrating up to a certain depth say for example this depth so you will be obtaining another reading here so difference from the difference of these two readings these two readings difference will give you the penetration value So it might be in millimeter so then you will have to convert it to penetration below in the final calculation first of all we will be taking in millimeter unit finally whenever will be uh, uh, finally whenever will be uh, reporting it we will be converting it to penetration value after further calculation just because we will not be getting just one reading we will be taking three readings so three readings will be taken in millimeter unit after that the average will be taken and it will be converted to penetration value penetration unit afterwards so first of all we will be taking the millimeter okay while taking you will be taking the actual millimeter value it doesn't matter whether you will have to take it up to one or two decimal it doesn't matter you will be taking the reading first in first case however so the uh, we are talking about uh, different apparatus now we have finished it we need the time watch uh, time um, recording device or stopwatch whatever you say we'll be taking the reading immediately within five plus minus one second as we, we have said earlier and we also need heater to heat the water but regularly to maintain its temperature as you know also we will be using the heater for um, temperature increasing the temperature of the bitumen as well so how to prepare the sample the sample the bitumen will be first you you will have again the indication of temperature as we have said in the specific gravity test as well whenever heating you must maintain that the, the expected softening point will be there or there will be softening point of the bituminous material first of all whenever any bituminous test will be conducted the first most first test which should be conducted with the specific uh, the softening point test first test we will be expecting to conduct just because uh, referring to this point we will be getting the indication for specific gravity also for the um, this test as well so why just because you see in this test also we will be um, providing a guideline like you should not first of all we need to what convert the asphalt into its liquid form so that we need to give provide heat within this so if you are using asphalt asphalt then you should not um, rise raise the temperature you should not raise uh, temperature above above what above 100 degree centigrade or if i say 180 degree fahrenheit above the expected softening point sp if i say softening point there is a softening point also um, 
this softening point expected softening point which will be obviously determined accordance with the softening point experiment which we will be discussing in the next classes i hope um, so this softening point should be the first test so that it will be an indicator for the test of specific gravity also the test for this one as well so this test therefore will be raising temperature not more than 100 degree above the expected softening point also in case of tar will not be raising this temperature above what this will be 56 degree centigrade or we can say 100 degree fahrenheit so in case of tar also bituminous material tar we should not raise the temperature above 56 degree centigrade of its expected softening point as well for the asphalt not more than 100 degree centigrade and when it will become fluid in nature we will be pouring this into sample container the container we are talking about in the apparatus while discussing about apparatus so while pouring this into the container as we know we have the indication of the penetration grade we have the penetration grade so say for example penetration grade we are using say 80 to 90 say for example so if we are using 80 to 90 penetration grade in that case you should know you should maintain the depth of the container must be this expected say 90 so this means 9 millimeter so what whatever the container is the container we are using maybe uh, giving 35 millimeter inner depth but the fill up bitumen uh, should be in such a way that as it is heated now we will be expecting it to cool down and change its volume and depth whatever it is the final depth of uh, this bitumen should be at least greater 10 millimeter greater than 10 millimeter greater than its expected penetration that is 9 millimeter so at least 19 millimeter if i say if it is 80 to 90 grade we will be the depth of the bitumen final depth of the bitumen after pouring when it will be cooled down and changing its volume and depth accordingly that final depth will be uh, at least 19 millimeter or greater will be better uh, as we have provision for 35 millimeter as there and using this we can measure up to 20 millimeter as you know so as up to 20 millimeter if i say um, uh, we can measure so in case of 20 millimeter that is 200 grade the, what will be the expected depth then in that case we'll be keeping it at least 35 millimeter depth after pouring the uh, between within this so that will be our um, target in this case so however after pouring it it will be given uh, in a um, open temperature open environment temperature uh, not more than 30 degree centigrade as we are the reference temperature as you all know that 25 degree centigrade is the our expected temperature so uh, the target will be less than not more than 30 degree centigrade also not uh, no, uh, also not less than 20 degrees centigrade so within this temperature it will be cooled down in the atmosphere atmosphere okay so uh, this is why we are uh, while we are referring to this uh, three ounce container so if the penetration grade is uh, greater than 200 millimeter then the available depth will be this we have said 45 millimeter in that particular case um, we will be using a six ounce uh, container in that case uh, we will be also following the, the same procedure so if if we have used the three ounce as we have said here three ounce container if it is then cool it down within 20 to 30 degrees centigrade uh, atmospheric temperature uh, it will be uh, cool uh, let to cool it down before cooling it down you make sure that it is properly covered so that no dust and other particular um, particles are uh, going within this particular sample so keep it safe and make sure that we will be keeping it uh, let it to cool down in the atmospheric temperature not less than uh, 1.5 hours also not greater than 
2 hours if it is what 3 ounce container okay and if it is um, and if it is if it is uh, say uh, sorry it will be for 60 ounce uh, 6 ounce container and if it is 3 ounce container make sure that it will let it to cool down not less than 1 hour and not more than 1.5 hours so within this range you will have to let it cool down in the atmospheric temperature so whenever it is cooled down within this specific range of time after that um, this spe specific time after that we will be taking this container the container this container containing bitumen which will be placed within the water bath and we will be placing it in the water bath before applying the penetration load and other things you should make sure that again we need to pull it down uh, allow to remain so that the temperature 25 degree centigrade is uh, in the water bath this perforated shelf is there we will be keeping uh, the bituminous sample in this shelf this water bath is there so make sure whenever we are keeping the the container in this water bath if it is uh, so 25 degree centigrade temperature is maintaining here always plus minus 0.1 degree centigrade so whenever keeping the the uh, container in there you should again remember that it should not be uh, remain there um, less than 1.5 hours also um, not more than 2 hours okay so if you are using 6 ounce container and also in case of uh, 3 ounce you will be taking uh, it within this time frame before using it for the penetration uh, test okay so this is the sample preparation and how we will be applying load whenever we will be taking it to the apparatus the penetration apparatus we will be just releasing the needle make sure that no friction is there just release this it will be simply um, fall down the needle will simply fall down into the bituminous sample so no friction is there so the special apparatus arrangement will be in such a manner so then we'll be applying this penetration load to see the performance of this uh, needle or this bituminous material so as we are speaking from the beginning of this uh, topic that we will be using 25 degree centigrade temperature as a reference so if you do not mention if you are using 25 degree centigrade while reporting if you do not mention anything so any engineer will be assuming that this test has been conducted in 25 degree centigrade temperature if you do not mention anything it will be taken as a um, uh, standard test like 25 degree centigrade other than that if you use different temperature like 0 degree centigrade you might be using or 4 degree centigrade you might be using or 46.1 degree centigrade you might be using so for those uh, there are particular guidelines as well so whenever you are using 25 degree centigrade it is expected that that total load will be applied 100 gram 100 gram as you have said the weight of spindle plus needle plus additional weight of uh, additional weight of uh, 50 gram was there 50 50 and total combined 100 gram as we have discussed earlier that is the 100 gram load will be given as penetration and for 5 seconds this is the particular guideline and if you if you bring some exception so the temperature is 0 degree centigrade for that particular load is guideline according to the guideline you will have to apply 200 gram load if it is 4 degree centigrade it will you will have to apply 200 gram load again for 46.1 degree centigrade the load is 50 gram there okay so again the time this is the load if I say about the time the, the, this will be up to 60 second 
this will be up to 60 second and this will be up to 5 second again so from this particular guideline you can easily understand why this these values are there like this why the structure is like that just because in 0 degree centigrade or 4 degree centigrade you can easily expect that the bitumen will be hard and so in such a manner that the penetration might not be exerting the true value if you keep it within just five seconds so you need to give more and more time 60 seconds for take the original penetration value and in case of load obviously you cannot apply 100 gram load you might be applying a load greater than that at is you can expect the bitumen to be hardened than the 25 degree centigrade bitumen that's why you will be applying 200 gram load and for 46.1 degree centigrade the bitumen is expected to be um, losing its consistency that's why you will be applying 50 gram load according to the guideline and obviously in five second time so whatever you use you must mention that this temperature this load and this time we are using and if you do not mention anything we will be assuming that you have conducted the standard test that is the normal test 25 degree centigrade the 100 gram weight and five second you have taken the measurement and the procedure is how to conduct this test so let's see from the plan view so if the container is cylindrical so so from plan view this this will be your penetration container so whenever the needle will be penetrating through this how, how should be the arrangement the needle so whenever the needle will be penetrating so we'll be taking three penetration uh, penetration values okay three penetration values will be taking whenever penetrating through this particular sample will be say taking one say one penetration is taken over there another there is a particular guideline for this whenever you will be taking another point in there this because these two penetration should have a the minimum distance between these two should be uh, if i designate d1 this d1 should be greater than 10 millimeter in uh, at any cost this must be greater than 10 millimeter you cannot uh, make the d1 less than 10 millimeter so that this needle as it is already penetrated uh, that's why it might impact the penetration of this one as well that's why to make less influence or no influence over the, uh, the another test another penetration this distance is guided again uh, what about the border line so if you are using another point in this as well you must maintain that the minimum distance from this one to that this is the minimum distance in between this one and this one so this one will be d2 that is the distance from the border the circumference of the circle the from the plan view the cylindrical container this uh, from the penetration point this d2 should be again greater than 10 millimeter and this d2 is obviously uh, true for this one this one as well the distance this one this one obviously this d2 will apply also uh, this d1 the distance in between two needle penetration this will apply also this will apply as it it was applied so that's how you should be giving the penetration within the bituminous material to obtain the results the penetration value will be noting the three value this three values you will be taking the average of this three value just remember when you will be applying one needle first of all the needle the needle will be applied here first okay first value i have obtained then remove the needle again from the uh, from this penetration after five seconds you will be simply picking this up and using toluene you will be using toluene you know what is toluene the organic ma substance toluene you will be using the toluene to um, wash the surface as the needle might be uh, taking uh, some some of the bituminous materials will be sticking on this stick on this particular needle so that 
you will have to remove it otherwise you might get less penetration value for the next two penetration test so that's why use toluene to make the surface clear and again use a dry towel after after using toluene solution to remove all the bitumen from this you will uh, then uh, use a dry towel use a stroke so that the needle surface become dry again and prepare for the next penetration then you will apply the next penetration according to this d1 and d2 guideline as you have mentioned and in any case another guideline is there if you see that this needle within five second is going beyond 200 penetration value that is say 20 millimeter value greater than 20 in that case you will be removing this needle there let it to stay there just because if you remove it the total sample might be hampered so that you will not be using this needle again let it to penetrate through this needle whatever it is you use different needle and the apparatus in different position for another test keep it there if the depth is greater than 20 millimeter or penetration value is greater than 200 you have obtained in a particular uh, in a particular penetration you see but less than that you can remove and use toluene and use dry stroke with towel and again take the same needle for another test if it is not greater than 20 millimeter or not crossing 20 millimeter if it is less than 20 millimeter okay so three test so three penetration value you will be taking the average of three so for example if I say the penetration value the first penetration value might be if you have obtained um, say for example 9.1 you have obtained 9.1 9.2 and you have obtained 9.1 again so using three values these three are millimeter so you will be taking the average of this three so what will be the average if I say so, so 9.1 9.2 and 9.3 will be giving you an average which is 9.2 again sorry uh, it will be giving you 9.2 9.1 it will be giving you an average of 9.133 millimeter so then what we'll be doing you will be taking it converting it to the um, nearest value that is 9.1 millimeter as we have said if you round it up to whole number you can also take it say millimeter values uh, in penetration unit so 91.33 in penetration unit we have found it so you will have to round it to the nearest whole number so the rounding will be 91 penetration unit you will be writing penetration unit 91 so that will be your final result how to report it that's how you should be taking the values so there is some additional things I need to mention here so whenever you are conducting the test with special apparatus which is greater than 500 uh, greater than 350 penetration expected up to 500 in that particular case in that particular case greater than or equals to 350 to up to 500 if it is expected so then what we should do we will have to use special apparatus as you know so while using special apparatus there are some specification in the special apparatus and all other things what do you think what is uh, if if i say the penetration value is greater than 350 whether the consistency is high the resistance is high or low what do you think obviously low which will be allowing 350 penetration depth uh, penetration unit of depth that must be less consistent in manner the bitumen so that's why in that particular case we cannot apply 
uh, more loads in in that particular test so you there are some different things we'll have to use in that particular uh, the specifications are there for that special apparatus but in general we are not going beyond 350 we will be uh, taking less than 350 in Bangladesh as well normal test will be conducted but if it were like that you will be using such a high penetration you can also conduct the test using the standard needle as well if you use standard needle for this particular test if you use standard needle standard needle might be used as well for this particular test if you uh, use an approximated value can be obtained using the standard needle value as well how let's see you will be using six ounce container again for this that test if it is greater than 350 are equals to 350 but you will be applying 50 gram of loading instead of 100 gram just because greater value of uh, load will be penetrating it more so we cannot apply 100 gram here so in case of standard needle if it is used for greater penetration you need expected value you will be applying only 50 gram of load for 6 ounce container will be used and the penetration will be con uh, the penetration you will be obtaining that will be converted to penetration under 100 gram load if you expect 100 gram load of penetration uh, from this 50 gram so you will be using penetration under 50 gram that will be multiplied with this one that is nothing but the root 2. so it will give an assumed assumption value that, that will be close to the original value that is an assumption how you can proceed and another thing I must mention before finishing today's lecture that is um, there uh, the the three penetration you will be obtaining three penetration as I have said 9.1 9.2 and 9.1 millimeter you have obtained so there are some specific guidelines for that the penetration the penetration if the final penetration value you have obtained and the maximum differences between highest and lowest penetration value penetration value should not be exceeding this particular range what are the ranges if it is 0 to 49 the penetration value you have obtained the two difference should not be exceeding two value so in this case 91 92 and 91 so it is not within this range there is another range 50 to 149 if it is the two uh, the highest and maximum difference should me should not be greater than four so highest is 91 uh, highest is 92 and lowest is 91 the difference is one so it is acceptable just because we, we will be allowing four so if it is 90 lowest value 90 85 and uh, 91 say for example then 81 and 85 the difference is 6 but it is not allowed in this case just because the average of this tree is within this range but the maximum highest value and uh, the lowest value difference is 6 which is not allowed just because it is allowed up to 4 if it is 150 to 249 this will be allowed up to six variation and if it is greater than or equals to 250 then maximum difference will be allowed up to eight penetration unit remember these all are in penetration unit not in millimeter so that's how you will have to conduct this test i think i have covered all these things if you have any further questions i will be answering you after you ask me so thank you for